Y'all got a bunch of comments saying Ari's and Monte Bello is some serious, y'all. I got the pastrami shit reveal. It looked delicious, y'all. They cooked that thing right. <laughs> you you had this before? Oh come on! <laughs> right. <laughs> I got the chili cheese fries right here. Look pretty bomb too. This is what everybody said to get chili cheese fries and the pastrami. It's a cool little spot, beautiful outside, cool diner inside. The cooks are right there in front of you cooking with no gloves. I don't know how I feel about that. The most recent comment on Yelp say they never coming back because they ain't got gloves. 50-50, some people say you should use gloves when you cook. Some people say you shouldn't because contaminated, you know, whatever. So we're gonna try it out, but let's do a quick prayer first. Let's have animals and all that. Let the Ari's, let the Montebello, let the pastrami, let the chili cheese fries. Let's start with these chili cheese fries. Y'all, Wiener Schnitzel is the standard. I don't care what nobody say. That's the best chili cheese fries I've ever had. They're a good amount of crispy and cheesy and flavor. So this is either going to be better or worse than Wiener Schnitzel. The cheese is not melted, which kind of made me feel some type of way. I wish it was melted. The chili looked like they actually make it in house. The fries are crispy. Let's see what they're doing fucking jumping out here y'all it actually smells incredible god damn yeah you bitch is hitting they're similar to wiener since how crispy the fries are the chili's definitely better i'm pretty sure they're making it in house the cheese could be more melted but it is a nice flavor it's like a light cheddar mmm it push a go. See about this pastrami, y'all. I learned from eating Langer's, there's like two types of pastrami. There's like really high end pastrami, and then there's like a lower level where it's like, it's just thinner and doesn't taste the same. Like it's not as thick of a cut. I don't know if it's how they're cooking it or what, but let's see. They already threw the pickles on top. They got the mustard on it. Very classic. Very soft bun. I like that. You can see the juice come out of it. That's crazy. All right, let's try it out. Mmm. Packed with flavor, really good bite. Nowhere near Langer's because the actual pastrami is just not that level, like I'm saying. It's more on the cheap side, but it wasn't even a cheap sandwich. I think it was like 15, which Langer's is 30, so I guess it is cheap, but yeah, flavor-wise it's not there, but if you don't want to spend that 30 at Langer's, this is a nice runner-up. Pastrami, I could go without. I really don't need it. Chili, free, cheese, chili cheese fries, I will be back.